Guess what? We're live. I'm getting my phone up and you call me. Hello, everybody. It is raining in Texas. It just started raining. I went outside to get something and it was raining. Um, <clears throat> welcome to Know Me Business. Because we know me the business we want to make. So, I am so excited. Let's see who is on. We have Diane, and if I don't say your name, it's because it already scrolled past. Oh, there's the problem. I don't have my chat window open. Let me see. Let me get my chat window open. Window. Comments and reactions. Okay, because... I have, I'm live streaming in Facebook and YouTube again. Um, this is my second time. The first one was a practice run. My chat window on the screen, I can see if you're chatting from YouTube or Facebook. I have Facebook up so I can answer in and I'll try to get to any answers in YouTube as well. Um, but it's just me, I don't have a helper so um, no place like know me. Yes, it's gray in Dallas. Who says it's gray in Dallas? Who? Barbie oh, Barbie Joe Brown. You are watching from Dallas. Okay, so tonight I have a real special fun little project. I so kind of want to show it first. Hey, Christina. Melody <coughs> and Pat and Stacy and Lee and Karen and Christine and Renee and Susan, Nancy, Jackie, Dorothy, Karen, Sharon, <laughs> Misty, who else? Cindy, you made it. Emily, you're here. Carla, Diane, Kathy, Jazz. Wow, we have lots of people. Peggy? You have to say hi to me. Who didn't say hi to you? You. I'm on. Oh, hi to Frog Sticker. I missed him. He's on. He's standing right beside me, too, <laughs> saying, well, you didn't say hi to me. So, first off, let me make a couple of quick announcements. One of those being, um, I'm not sure if all of you saw the post. Hey, Jolene, Mr. Wilson got hurt in the shop um, a week and a half or so ago. He um, got his finger stuck in the router. Um, not the internet router, but that machinery router that goes really big, really fast. And um, with a, what'd you have, a three and a half inch bit in there? Three and a half inch bit? Big old bit. That's he, not he is so lucky that it only went through these two fingers, through the nails, both nails in two places, both of them, about an eighth of an inch down into his fingers. Um... He could have just easily have lost his fingers right then and there. And I don't know where, I have glaze on my arms, where we would be right now. However, that said, it did put us behind. We do make to order. We do work at least, at least 10 business days out. If there's a sale, it could be longer. Uh, due to the injury, it's even longer. So we're running, if you don't count our normal, we're running two to three weeks behind right now. However, Mr. Wilson um, grits his teeth and has started back in the shop again, and we will be catching up fast. I am hoping by the end of next week, we will be caught back up. So please stay patient with us. Um, the injury was obviously unexpected. Um, you know, it's a reality check when there's just two of you and somebody gets injured. Um, anyway. Don't let that deter you. We are on it. We are back. And yes, he is a very lucky guy. Um, he could have easily lost his fingers. It was, it was a little on the scary side. That said, these two fingers on his right hand, he is right-handed. And you want to talk tender. Oh my gosh. So you can't hardly... Yep, you can't keep a good man down. Shh, don't say that too loud. I have to live with that. Um, so anyway, we're back. We're up and running. We have made some changes. It's starting to storm. If I lose you, it's Texas. 
Didn't even know it was going to rain, and this stuff just popped up and started. I've got three dogs under my feet because when it thunders, they freak out, and they keep running underneath me. Um, somebody got their rolling pin, and they're a happy girl. Oh, Christina, you got your rolling pin. Awesome. Um, yes, if it's something... <clears throat> I got a lot of orders out. If it was something that Mr. Wilson doesn't make. So if it was just rolling pins or just rolling pins and templates and stencils and stamps, any of that, I make all of that. So I was able to make those. But if it's a, a form of some sort, a hybrid, a, a dual drape or, or that kind of thing, um, then those take, when you're getting like the three deep hybrids, those take a minimum of three to four days anyway to make. And so, um, anyway, enough of that. He's doing better. We're doing better. Um, we have some exciting stuff. Um, whoops, that's what we're going to work on tonight. Don't peek. Don't peek. I want to talk quickly. I'm going to put this overhead on. Maybe. Why is it not there for me to put on? Huh. Huh. I guess it won't let me have my overhead. Hold on. Oh, it's not seeing my other camera. I would have to dump out of my live. Okay, I can't do that. But I'm going to tell you, our banding wheel, our super bat banding wheel system is almost ready. Hey, Deb. Hey, Maria. <clears throat> and Jackie, we would have had these out had Mr. Wilson not got hurt. I didn't feel comfortable putting them out um, while we were that far behind. We are quickly catching up, so they may go out this week, um, may go live this week. But our, our banding wheel system, you know, it sits on our banding wheel. We've had these. We've got the little thingy in the middle. But now, on the back, they actually will attach. And I can't show you the overhead, so I'm going to try to lift this. So they actually now attach to your banding wheel so you can ooh, that's heavy so you can spin this as hard as you want and uh push it around and it is not going anywhere we are primarily a hand building group and uh so having the ability to spin that banding wheel um without that piece flying off is huge i will tell you it has made a world of difference for me and it will for you so we will have those out they will come in a big set of all kinds of fun things so get ready for that um what else gosh i want to show you what we're gonna make tonight so bad um beforehand because it's so darn cute should i tell i know you guys like to see the project first sometimes i like to see the project last but i'm going to show you and i i planned on my overhead but it didn't pick up my camera for some reason um for this part so we are going to work on the nomi tonight this is the template and the form well I, I, and if you've already ordered the gnome, they've been out on the website. If you've already ordered the gnome, we haven't sent any out yet because of Mr. Wilson's injury. However, I took advantage of that time and actually kind of modified the, t the stencils. And, um, yeah, I'm happy to send that rain your way. <laughs> um, the, um, I modified the stencils, redid them. And um, so anybody that's already ordered is going to get the, the new and improved stencils. But wait till you see this. Um, I'm going to put in and put in and put in. So the girl, I, I made this stencil for the girl and she's got braids. And with the braid, with, and there's also, you're going to get the feet. If you want to use them. I didn't attach them because I didn't know if you would want the... Come back here. Use them or not. Let me see. So let me see if I could get it to sit there. Oh, it's going to jump off. I'm going to have to hold it. Hold on. So you can put the feet on her if you want. Or not. Just whatever you want to do. 
and Mr. Grumpy Face, Nomi, looks like that. And, and he's got feet that you can stick down there under his beard as well. So, you've got Mr. and Mrs. Nomi, or whatever you want to call them. Happy, happy Mama, Grumpy Papa. I don't know. Anyway, but, so it's now one solid piece, one solid outline, and then you can use it any way you want to. However, there's more. There's more in the fact that I'm also sending, when you order this, I'm also sending you the insides, which will look like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this on, but I'm going to try. See that? So you could... You could do it like this, put the little pieces in, if, like that, if you want to hide those areas from glaze and or um, mix and match, however you want to glaze it. Does that make sense? So you're going to get the insides and the outside pieces. And the same with Mr. Gnome, you're going to get his nose. Here, let me put these down here and then I'll flip it over where you can see it. If I can figure out how to put it together. Oh, that goes to there. That goes to there. Oh, because that needs to go in there. Hold on. Sorry, my overhead camera is working for our videos tonight. It's just wasn't working there and I don't want to turn off my live to put it back on. Okay. See how the pieces will go back into place? And so will his nose. His nose will go in there. So you could use both of them together to block and mask um, mask your stuff. Now, you say, hmm, what is that all? I'm going to move all this out of my way. What is all of that? I love these. Remember, our signature rounded edges, you'll, you won't get creases, cracks, lines, any of that kind of stuff. So, tell me in the chat, let's see, yep, the new ones are perfect. Yeah, and Cindy, I believe you've already ordered the gnome, so you'll get the newer, the latest and greatest. Um, like I said, you know, I, I was kind of down. I got everything done I could do. Who wants to let me know in the chat, do you want to see what the project's going to look like before, or do you want to watch the videos and work up to the anticipation? I'm going to give you a minute to answer that. Hey, Beth. Gramps and Grammy Gnomi. <laughs> the Gnomis have it. Anybody have a preference? You want to see what we're going to make or do you want to just start making? Before, after, howdy. Okay, after. Before. Oh, howdy. Before. We've got two befores due to the weather. Let's see. That's true in case we get knocked out. Okay. I'm going to show you what I made. Whoop, don't pee. I'm going to show you what I made today. Now, remember, this, this piece is still very wet, still floppy, but all the glaze that's on here um, hasn't even been bisfired. It is, uh, I used Amico Velvets and Stroke and Coats. And I will, um, I've been waiting for you to make these for a long time. Ha! Yes, I know. You and Cindy, Cindy Orbit. Um, so you've got to use your imagination. When this thing fires, the bisque fire, these Stroke and Coats are going to be super dry or super bright. And then all the places you see the raw clay, I will actually then dip this whole thing in clear and then actually fire it. Um, but here she is. And her nose is actually pink. I wish the other camera view, I wish I could get that. You'll see her on the thing. I wish the, here, let me stand up. Can you see? Can you see those braids and that nose? 
Is that not just cute as can be? That was, it's just, there are a million ways, a million ways to glaze this. That said, let me get started. Oh, I wasn't anticipating, I wasn't planning on glazing tonight. I was just going to make it. Um, and you're not even into gnomes, right? Um, oh, the rain just started really pouring. So on the glazing video, I did cut some, like I started glazing the, the braids and then I kind of cut some of it out so it would, you know, you didn't sit there and watch me do the whole thing. But um, anyway, so let's start with seeing how easy it is to make this dish. Oh, and let me explain one thing. So, well, let me explain it after you see this first video. It will make more sense. It's a super bad banding wheel system attaches to 8, 10, and 12 inch banding wheels. We are so excited. All right, that in mind, I'm going to, what did I just do with my little peg? I had it, there it is. Today, I'm going to use it. I'm going to put my peg in here. Cricket, 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 cricket. Stop. He says, no, I want to talk to you. Because you know why I figured it out? Because I started talking. So now he wants to talk. All right. Now, here's what we're going to work with today. I got a whole jumbled mess here. And I'm going to explain all of the the parts and the pieces. So, no me, no me, no me. Look at the no me. Okay, so I have changed things, and I'll explain that in the live. On the website, I've changed things. But I'm gonna put my template down, and I'm gonna put my form on here. And you can see up in the window what I'm doing. Hopefully, this. Um, this shows well. I'm trying to figure out where's the best to see it here. Now, I have created, look at this stencil. Is that not adorable? Look at her braids. So I can put this, I could set this here and set my clay over the top of it. Um, I am going to attempt to lay my clay right over the top of this and see how that works. This is a first, first attempt. It may not work at all, but you will see it here whether it does. Okay, so there's the girl. She has ponytails, little braids. Oh, left a piece of stencil in there. So she has little braids. I also made a matching boy nomi. And I've, what I've done is created the outlines for you. So he's a little more masculine. His lines are a little thicker. He's got his beard. And you also will get the little feet if you want to put them on there. So there's the boy and the little feet on the girl. Just come back here. And I didn't connect them because I wanted you to be able to choose whether you wanted feet or not like that so um so here we go i'm gonna use the girl today because she's a little bit more interesting and i'm going to attempt to set it over the top well we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens so i hope that little window oh i have to point over here i'm still getting used to this camera so I hope that little window right there is working. So I'm gonna grab my clay and I'm gonna be very careful when I set that down, hoping I got that stencil to stay where it belongs. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. If it doesn't work, you will see it here. I hide no boo-boos. I'm gonna take this off. This extra clay. 
Oh, I have got to move my birds out of here. I love having them in the studio with me, but when I'm trying to record, that's not so good. Okay, I just kind of dip that in water and I'm just gonna kind of swoop this. Get this all down good. I got my my girl standing looking out the window or looking in the window at me. They're usually right here on the floor. They don't like being outside so much when it's hot. They like the air conditioning in here. Okay. I want you to be imagining how you may glaze this little girl, Mummy. Because there are so many things you can do. Alright, let me get all this clay off of here. Now I'm going to press it in a little more because now that I've got it cemented down, I don't have to worry about lifting it so much. And maybe we'll do the boy a different way and see which way works best. Okay, I want to get this stuck down to that template good. Can you imagine these little Nomi serving dishes, plates, bowls, whatever you want them to be? They're adorable. Okay, I'm going to grab my smoothing sponge because I use it kind of different. I just kind of use it to go around and get all the crumbs off. And smooth then. I had to look up and make sure my sound was working. You know how many times I've recorded videos without sound and had to do it all over again? So smooth it all down, come around this top. Again, I have my signature rounded bottoms. I am the original rounded bottoms. And uh, they won't put lines or anything like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. I can see, I can see my stencil. That's a good thing. So what I'm gonna do, because I forgot it was under there. So I'm going to go around and I'm actually going to flatten this. One, I want my bottom flat. I'm not going to put a foot on this tonight because my main goal is just showing you different ways of trying this. But I am going to press this down because I want that stencil pressed in. So I'm going to come around this edge because remember my stencil is under there. And I want that compressed into the clay since I did it this way. All right. We will see how well that did or did not work. All right. Let's take our needle tool. This is going to be a long video. Please tell me I'm recording. I am. Just take this right around. I'm taking my time, keeping my needle tool straight up and down, just spinning out around my banding wheel system because uh, it won't slide off. How many of you are super excited for these to come out? Um, we're hoping to put them out next week. 
There you have it. Take that off. All right. You know I like to go around. Now remember, this is this is a hand building group. And um, so we like to do hand building things that's going to help us um, make fun gifts, sell in art shows, craft shows, be consistent if we want to be, and or this is a template, this is the skeleton to get you started. And think of all the things you can do with this your way. All right, now I'm gonna just take my smoothing sponge and kind of go around and get the rest of this. Any crumbs I see off. And I'm gonna go put this aside and let it dry some before I flip it over and see what we have. We might have a mess. <laughs> we may have it just perfect. But these are such thin, thin little stencils. They are your skeleton, your outline. You put them on for an outline and then you dress them up however you want. There's all kinds of things that can be done. Um, for instance, for the girl. Oh, her stencil's under there. But like, this is the dress part. Um, I could, if this was flipped up, see that would be the dress part in there i could take a stencil that i have i'm messing this up and i could put this right down here and i could just press this down just within this section and give her a flowered dress um i could use stamps i could use all kinds of things just in the parts and pieces that i want so we'll attempt this today and see how it works. You can paint flowers. You can dress up the, the um, hat any old way you want. I got that sitting there just for fun, just to see what we might do with it. All right, we're going to set this aside, let it dry, and we'll be back for more. Okay, so making of it is pretty simple. And... So I will tell you, the one thing I figured out, where did I put all those stencils? Well, I guess I put them up. Oh, no, there they are. Let me grab this one. Oh, okay. So the one thing that I figured out, uh, really playing with this is, I really love, because these are super thin and very flexible stencils, but durable. And putting this over the form like this and draping over, I think is the easiest and the best way to go. Because, I don't know if you're all like me, but if I did the, put this just on my flat slab of clay and then I tried to um, press my mold over the top of it and flip it, you know, on foam and stuff, I know it would be cockeyed like that. So... What I'm going to do is I'm also going to take these stencils and I'm going to shrink them down, oh, an eighth of an inch, maybe. Um, maybe just a hair more so that it sits right inside this form. See, it's going to hang over there, but... I'm gonna make them where they sit right inside the form. Um, on the one I did today, it is almost perfect, but I think it would be easier if it was just a tiny bit smaller so that it was laying flat all the way around. I had one little piece that was sticking up. So I'm gonna adjust that a little bit so that they, so that you will be able to set this on top of your form like I did in the video drop your clay over the top and then press it in and um, you're good to go that way. Let's see, I'm very excited to get the new bats. Will it fit the largest oval rims? Um, I'm not sure what you mean. If you're talking about the 
super bat banding wheel system it is 15 inches in diameter um and our largest form is 14 inches but our largest rim is 16 16 or 16 and a half i don't remember however the rim will sit over it may extend over the bat but the rim is there to cut around anyway so that's going to be totally fine you just don't want your form to be over and none of our forms will go over I, i'm hoping that that's what you were trying to ask i want to try one with my amazon wheel my who was that Barbie Joe, I'm not sure what you mean by your Amazon wheel unless it's a wheel you got on Amazon. These super bat systems will be sized for an 8, 10, and 12 inch Shimpo. However, Shimpo casts their um, banding wheels. They don't make them like with templates. So Shimpo wheels can be off by a little bit, either a little smaller or a little bigger. So we've made our systems <clears throat> to be able to be about an eighth of an inch either direction. See, I got glaze everywhere. Um, so they will have just that little eighth inch move. You can either put a piece of foam in there, put a piece of clay in there or something, but we had to leave it a little bit because the Shimpo banding wheels aren't exact every single time. And we certainly didn't want one to be too small. Slightly bigger is better than not fitting. All right, let's move on to flipping this dish. Okay, I am back. I did take my heat gun a little bit to this because I don't know what I was thinking. I can't make the boy because I only had one form. Um, so I needed to dry this pretty quickly. So I think I'm hoping it's stiff enough to see what we need to see. So I'm gonna slide this off of here. I, I started to do it, I picked it up, put, took the pin off and went, whoops, I need to be filming this. So I'm gonna take this piece of template, flip this over and pop a template off and look at how good that looks. Um, set you right there. It's already um, looking really good on the edges because we cut around that and got all the little goobery things off so i don't have to work very hard at cleaning this up right here i see a place that could potentially crack so i'm gonna slightly wet my finger and just kind of compress this and then slightly compress and just kind of round that out a little bit and compress that really good because I need my little finger because I don't want that to crack. Okay. And um, I see I kind of gouged right here. I'm just gonna go just like that with a rib. And it's gone like magic. All right, now there are some good finger holds on this. However, I'm gonna use my plucker doodad just to be safe. I hope I have the right one here. Uh, I don't think this is the, I think I had an old screw. And I like to just lightly pull the sides out. I did compress this one in pretty hard because I was trying to get that stencil down. So right now I'm just going and kind of pulling it out just ever, ever so slightly. And then boom lifts right out and there's my stencil in there now I only see one little spot that didn't come whoo that didn't compress down really good so I'm gonna come over here um let's see maybe I'm gonna use 
this. See if I could compress that down. Oh, well, that worked. Compress that. That's the only spot that didn't really compress in. I'm gonna press that in with my thumb from or my finger from both sides. There we go. That's perfect. So that way we're, that again, can you see that stencil in there, the lines? Um, it's perfect to um, try to draw it. So let's, let's see what we might do glaze-wise. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I was answering a um, YouTube question, person on YouTube. Okay. So, you see how easy that is? And um, that stencil worked perfect. Well, I'm going to shorten it or squeeze it in just a hair. And I think that it will be better. Um, I think I messed up my videos because this says flip the, the pot twice. Let me see if this is the right next video. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to take one of these little dishes. I just use these little dishes and I'm going to take a little bit of stroke and coats old lace because I need to water down or lighten down my yellow because I have Amico's intense yellow and I'm going to give her blonde hair but I don't want it like super duper intense right? So, let me see where you can see that, right there. So I'm gonna add some yellow in here. And try to make this a little less intense and a little more blonde. Oh, that's working. It'll still be bright, but much better. Okay, now I'm going to use a smaller brush. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing up there. I'm just going to come in and get these little pieces. If I go outside the line like I just did, I can just wipe that right out. So I'm just going to get these. The, these are her braids. Little out. Obviously, I wasn't taught to draw color inside the lines very well, was I? Can you see that? Did I have my head in the way? See how bright that's going to be. I'm trying to concentrate here. And I would caution you to, if you're going to mix a color for hair or something, that you mix enough for both sides because if you have to mix it twice, you may not get it mixed the same. And, um, yeah, I switched hands. I'm ambidextrous. And I'm intentionally, like, texturing it with my brush it's hair I don't want it going all the same direction I want it to look like hair and where I went outside the lines I'm just going to go in and remove that with a brush just like that let me get this side can you see what I'm doing here let me get this other side I am just not staying in the lines. I wasn't planning on glazing this on this class, on this live, but I'm just gonna glaze piece, oops, stuck it in the wrong thing. I'm just gonna glaze her hair. 
I think, maybe her nose, and then let this completely dry out, bisque fire it, and then come back and glaze the other pieces. Where if I go outside the lines, I can just wipe it right off. Give me another dish. I wanna water this down really good. So this becomes just a wash. Just a little slight, whoa, that was a lot. Because we're gonna bisque, I'm hoping this doesn't go underneath because I've got this pretty wet. This is gonna leave stroke marks, but that's okay. Okay. Trying to not take the whole live for this. These are Amico Velvets. This is Electric Blue. Not sure if that's going under or over. Okay, I need to let this dry completely to put a second coat on. There. All right, I'm gonna let that dry, then I'm gonna put a second coat on. Okay, you're gonna laugh as we go further because I said, oh, that's all I'm gonna do. And then I did a little more. And then I'm like, oh, that's all I'm gonna do. And then I did a little more. And then I said, oops. Well, because she was getting so darn cute. I just couldn't stop. Whoa, I about lost her. I just could not stop. Is that showing? Yes. She was just so, uh, Tanner, nope. She was just so darn cute. So let me go to the next one. I did cut these down. Um, the um, You'll probably have to watch the replay, Joni, but the stencil, it's my Nomi form. on top of, whoops, with the template and stencil. So it's the, it's the set. Um, the set. So I'm going to kind of go, because we're running behind, I'm going to kind of go through some of the um, video. Oh, you're welcome. It's the video kind of quickly because I'm just painting the glaze on. Um, I used a couple. Um, I, I, it was hard to count how many layers I actually did because I was just trying to keep it soaking in. Um, but let me kind of whiz through these glazing ones and then I'll show you what I did on the dress. Okay. I filled in the hat with blue to match her dress. And that's the blue, electric blue um, Amico Velvets. Um, I have really got to find my Paula McCoy paints because I really want to work with them. Um, and now I'm just taking that same electric blue and creating little interest on this rim. Just like this. That's all I'm going to do on the rim. Don't want to get them too close together. I almost did. But if you do, how about this? This one's a little close. I'm going to come in, wipe that, get my sponge, wipe that. There. Did you see that? Now it's perfect again. And now I'm going to keep going. I 
I think these will be adorable at shows. Um, adorable for gifts, serving trays. I think... Um, It'll be just adorable. I'm going to finish painting this rim and be right back. Okay, so I have just gone around the rim. And what I'll do is I will, after this has been um, bisque fired, I would dip it in clear glaze for all that raw clay. But I would also take, um, I would also take a color and maybe just this this light color this is old lace and i would do dots or little dotted flowers painted on um, but i'm not going to do that until it's been bis fired but what i will do is i'll pull this um i should be able to pull this stencil now so you can see so far what it's going to look like um let me come right here. Woo, it pulled good. Now I do see one little spot where it ran under and just because I'm picky, I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna come in here and pull that out. Just like that. And just like that, it's gone. Oh, I do have a couple little spots that ran right here when I first started, when it was too runny. But I can very easily get this out with this thin brush and fix these little spots. So, I'll fix those other couple spots offline. But what do you think of that? Look at her braids. Is that not adorable? Okay, so I said it again. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do anything else until I fire it. Whoops, did I fib again? Let's see. Okay, because I couldn't stand it, and I just had to do it, I stuck my paintbrush just in, this is stroke and coat old lace. I just stuck it in there and I'm gonna do this on here. I just did a dot. I did five of them around in like a circle. And then I did a, a littler one in the middle and just made little, three little flowers. Um, just because I couldn't stop playing. It is just adorable. And I haven't decided what I'll do up there, um, but I just wanted to, let me get this off before I make a mess. I just wanted to show you how easy you can <laughs> you can um, glaze these or, or dress them up. And, and again, this is, I haven't even gone in the bisque fire. Um, I would probably take a little brush and um, get a little of this old lace on there and do a little swoop, swoop like that for a little white spot on her nose, a little shadow. So have fun. Okay, so I had to keep going. Somebody asked, would she look better with two hands on her dress or somewhere? Yes, she very well may. I give you the, the outline and you take it and run with it. I would love to see somebody put hands on her dress. I can't see who um, said that. Um, I never get to see the lives. Oh, well, good thing you're here. I don't know who said something about the hands because um, it just says Facebook user, but um, tell me who you were because I will look for you to put hands. I would be excited. 
I don't know if there's another video. Hold on one second. Okay, and because I still can't stop, I took a little bitty paintbrush and I'm just doing teeny little drops. Kind of teeny. Can't be exact because. And I'm just going to go around the hat band. <laughs> what do you think of that? I'm loving this. There, I cannot wait for, for you guys to order these and see what you come up with for decorating ideas. I think I'm going to put one little flower up in the top. Oops, that's not the brush I was using. Where's the brush, the big brush? Maybe it was this one. No. Oh, well. It'll work. I'm going to put a... Come this way. I want a big flower. I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to do. I think we're done. <laughs> How many times did I say this during this one? But this little gnome was so fun to decorate. Okay, so I see a couple questions. I see Cynthia Bick Bicknays said, you're still waiting for your Halloween rolling pin. Cynthia, I don't typically address order issues or questions here on my lives. However, um, I will address this one just in the fact that um, we are a small mom and pop shop. We, um, our orders are all made to order and it states right on our website that it's at least 10 business days, not weekends, not holidays, 10 business days before we would ship if there was a sale, it could add a couple extra days. In this case, Mr. Wilson was injured in the shop and was out about a week and a half, got his fingers caught in the router. So yes, we are behind, we apologize. Um, we hope you um, all will have patience with us, but we are expecting um, a lot to go out this week and be caught up by the end of next week. Um, so we do appreciate your patience. Um, yeah, Edie, I saw, I forgot to fix the, the video. So it wasn't showing me, it was showing the upper. Um, let's see, Deb. Oh, I can't read. Hold on. Let me see if I can read what you're saying. Since stroke and coat is glazed, putting it over the blue under glaze, the white shouldn't fire out over. It should not. Um, I have done that quite a bit and I've never, I've never had it fire out because, um, it's just going to bisque fire to start with and it should not fire out in the bisque. And then I'm going to put a clear over it and then glaze fire. And, and so far I've never had an issue doing that. Um, remember when I did my hearts and I did the drizzle glaze, I did a brush stroke and then I did the gl drizzle glaze. None of that ever fired out. Um, white over blue, possibly, but I will show you what happens. And, uh, so, so you can see whether it did or did not work for me to know whether you want to do that or not. And if the blue, and if the white fired out, I can also do it again, um, for the glaze fire. So I have two shots at it. 
Um, let's see, did I get everything? I think I got every, all the questions answered. That is the end of this. These, um, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. Okay, so if you've already ordered the Nomi, you can expect a call from me because I'm gonna talk to you about that. Because in, because I had it set up for, you could order it and order, you could order it in a mirrored set so that you could make Nomi's face in each other, right? Well, I changed the stencils and everything around and then the templates because there's just such a small edge showing, you can, it really isn't gonna make a difference whether you have brown side up or black side up. So you get what's happening here. This is actually gonna be the template and the stencil will be reversible. You can do it on this side, you can do it on this side. So you can get your going back and forth. So instead of buying a mirrored whole three piece set, if you want to mirror it, you would only need the form, which would be going the other way. And that is because you got the round over, so you can't just turn it the other way. But I've saved y'all because instead of the mirror being a three piece set, you would only need the mirror form. But like I said, um, one way you would have brown side up and flip over and have the black side up. It just sticks to it just a little bit longer but it will still pop off. So that will save you quite a bit. Um, I So I took and put mirrored sets out of stock so that I can take those off and just add the mirrored form. But I wanted to explain to you why first. Anybody that ordered a mirror set, I'll contact you before they go out and uh, either refund the difference or you can get something in addition or whatever, but we'll get it taken care of and we'll take care of you. That's gonna work the same on the fish. Um, so I took the mirrored fish out of stock and um, the cactus. Uh, and I'm gonna do a really fun project with that cactus that will need a mirror, but you would only need the form. So I always try to re rework and uh, figure out how to save you and that worked. Any other questions before I jump off of here? Um, and I'm checking my Facebook, I mean my YouTubers. Can you guys tell me if in the videos, um, those of you that are my Slab to Fabbers that are in here, last week I had the, the little video up in the corner and I adjusted it today. I made this one bigger, that one smaller. Um, can you guys tell me if that fit uh, it worked better for visibility and did it work better having me down here and just the bigger view of my hands up there um, oh Mickey you're so sweet right back at you sweetie right back at you um, and yes it does seem like yesterday and my gosh it's been a year holy cow the bending wheel set is um, it is Created and made and tested. Um, we haven't put it, <coughs> Melody, we haven't put it up on the website yet just because we want to get a little more caught up. Technically, we're two weeks behind in orders, but to the date of the order, that makes it four weeks because we always run two weeks. Um, but now we're an extra two weeks because of the injury. So I just didn't want it, I just didn't want to put it out until we were a little more caught up. Um, one, because they would just put those that much further before we could get to them. So, I don't like to get very far behind at all. I, I don't get any sleep that way. I worry about it. Um, it hangs over my head. And it's terrible. Okay. Well, then I guess that is it. Um, but it'll be... Probably the end, of, we're going to see where we are, Melody, by the end of this week. And if we're pretty caught up, then we'll do it for probably a pre-order. But it's going to be a whole thing. We're so excited. 
Um, that's okay for me. I'm not in a hurry. Perfect. Perfect. All right, guys. Um, slabbers, I'm trying to get caught up to get back in there with you. Slabbers, I, um, but we'll talk about that. And I will see you soon, everybody.